Okay, let's do some average velocity problems. So this is like real life driving stuff, right? So here I have town A and here I have town B and they're 40 miles apart. And I'm doing that because we have uh, people around here that go between two towns that are actually about 40 miles apart. And you can take get there on the interstate. So you could drive, you know, the speed limit 70 miles per hour. So let's say you go from A to B going 70 miles per hour and then you go from A to B with an average speed of 65 miles per hour. How much time do you save by going 70 miles per hour instead of 60? So let's, now I'm using miles per hour and I'm using miles because that's what people around here use, uh, even though I don't really like it. So, but we can still use the following equation. V average is delta X over delta T. That still works. If I have the position in, the change in position in miles and the time in hours, then I get miles per hour or miles divided by hours, which so everything's works. I can just leave it in those units. I don't need to convert units. So let's first find out how long it takes to get there going 65. So let's say I have, uh, I want to solve for delta t. So if I multiply both sides by delta t, these cancel, and then I can divide both sides by v average, then I get delta t equals delta x over v average. So let's call this delta t1 for the 65 case. And it's going to be uh, 40 miles divided by 65 miles per hour. Okay, now you'll see here that the mile units do indeed cancel and I get units of hours. So if you put this in your calculator, it's not too hard, uh, you get 0 0.615 hours. That's how long it took. Okay, now let's do the same thing for 70 miles per hour. Delta T2 is going to be 40 miles divided by 70 miles per hour. And that's going to be equal to 0 0.571 hours. So the change in time, saved time, is going to be just uh, this minus that. And I get uh, 0 0.571 zero four four hours and let's convert that to uh, minutes so if I multiply this by 60 minutes divided by one hour this quantity has an, a value of one because 60 minutes is one hour even though they have different units so I'm not really changing the answer by multiplying it by this but the hour units do cancel and I get 0 0.044 times 60 and I get a time saving of 2.64 minutes. And there you go. Um, so that isn't a whole lot of time. I think, you know, and you can compare, you could do other times. I wouldn't do over 70 because it's illegal. Uh, but, you know, that's not a lot of time to save. So you really, you know, if you want to drive 65 miles an hour instead of 70, it's, it's like one extra song, right? Not a big deal. So go ahead, and if you're commuting, go ahead and drive 65. Oh, wait, but everyone else is going too fast. I'm going to crash. No, you'll be fine. Trust me. I drive 65 on this, and you get better gas mileage. You don't have to pass anyone, so it's kind of a cool thing. But, okay, I'll do another uh, driving problem, but I'll put it in another video.